Right now I'm about to take some soil samples for a garden I plan to plant next year. The garden should start a little bit on this slope here and come down and around. It's going to be on both sides of the fence because it's flat. And then take up this whole flat space right there where the riding arena used to be. Our state university is going to take my samples and analyze them and then provide me with some recommendations to treat my area, give me the feasibility of using this area for a garden and uh, get me prepped for next year. What I'm trying to do, I'm going to take a soil sample from three basically bed areas that I'm going to use and I want to collect about a cup of soil, maybe three inches deep uh, at each site location so that I can have my soil analysis run. Um, I think this is pretty good soil. Uh, you know, there's a lot of vegetation through here, not so many invasive weeds in this space as there is grass, which may be alfalfa. I know that my dad planted some alfalfa for the horses in these fields, so um, I'm actually pretty surprised at the condition of the soils below the surface. So this is site one. It's on an area, can't even see the street from here. There's lots of slope on the upside, but all this flat space right through here up to that first bend right there in the fence. All of this I plan to use for a garden. So it's just a small slope. I still think that I'd be able to create some raised beds here. This is the soil I just pulled up and it's actually it's pretty soft it's softer than I thought it would be but we've had a lot of rain um, looking at the root growth in here it looks like some roots have made it down I would say that's like three inches or so but actually I'm pretty impressed that there's some root down there at all because it's so hard packed but it is pretty kind of clay and silt. This wetland type of vegetation behind me and just the bogginess of the soil tells me a lot about the natural irrigation potential down here, but that this is the final drainage spot before it reaches the creek, which is just maybe 50 feet from here. It's not really problematic, I think, but it is going to kind of break up my bed area and it's something I'm going to have to avoid as I come through here with the tractor or any of my garden implements. So now I'm in the flattest part of the garden bed. Uh, I like what I see here because the ground with all of this water is, is pretty moist, which I plan on uh, planting my bed rows in line with the grade up here so I can get some natural drainage uh, to each bed um, as it goes through the channels in between. Uh, it's my theory anyway. I don't know if that will Im make an impact or not, but I think that the more natural rainwater that my garden bed gets, the healthier that my and happier my plants are going to be. Just looking down here, there's clover, I believe alfalfa, I'm not certain. Uh, I do see some of the weeds that were in the weed guidebook for my state. Um, I know this is one. I can't remember what anything's called, but uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of it right here. There's a little bit of wheat and, you know, healthy healthy growth down here so I've got some high hopes for this garden space. My second site location here I'm, I'm seeing that there's just a lot this the soil it breaks up really easy so even though it's hard packed um, it's still pretty, pretty soft. Uh, the roots are penetrating down to that three inch area, which I did not expect. 
this area used to be a riding arena and it was full of sand and I, I thought I would run into that too but uh, I'm not I'm not even seeing sand in, really in this mix this area was planned for bed three and it is a lot more slope to it than I remember or even thought I don't know if I'm gonna get a bed on this side of the fence or on the other one maybe just from here to this, I think it's still flat, maybe right about there, but not as, you know, deep. So I may be able to still get a couple of raised beds this way in the flat space. This area for my sample site three has pretty much been untouched by the development of the field or the riding arena. This sample is a lot different than the other locations where it was pretty compact over there. This is soft, full of organics, and really polypy. I'm going to have to look on the internet when I get home to see what, what that really means for the soil conditions over here. Still a lot of clay, um, but it seems happy soil to me. So I'm back at the house and I'm airing out my samples. Uh, I laid them out on the table so I didn't get them confused with the cups that I took them on. I'll take a video of that in a second. As per the instruction packet, um, they had some requests that these samples, so I'm gonna let them dry for a day or two before I mail them, it'll reduce the weight, plus they ask that you dry them out um, and then put it in a Ziploc bag. Remove some of the root material. So just so I don't get confused, I just left the cups as my indicator here. And uh, I have some Ziploc bags with my name and the date and the site location on them. And the form's already filled out and ready to go. I started uh, the process for my garden by contacting the extension office here. So I called earlier this week and they just think that the samples were lost somehow. Um, so they left some forms for me to fill out and take the samples myself. There were some questions on the form that I really don't have the expertise to answer, but I took my best stab at it and I made sure to just put in all of the comments. Um, what I was growing for, that I wasn't really certain, and, and just explain the things that I did know about the soil conditions. They have my email and my phone number if they need any additional information.